Uh oh. No need for that. Roads are nice. Buddy must have been clipping. Oh, clipper. Holy. It's in there good. As long as nobody got hurt, it's all good. Yeah, this intersection, there's always something happening. It's like super dangerous. Too good. Cook crunch. Something for everyone. Plus on-site financing. Hey, we got man. Well, hey there, people. Well, anyways, I'm on my way to Edmonton. I have a couple doctor's appointments. Uh, yeah, I gotta go see my rheumatologist slash scleroderma specialist. This should be exciting. Anyway, we're halfway to Edmonton. Uh, I'll talk to you guys when we get there or whatever. left turn here so you can pretty much call this street that I'm going to turn on uh, the strip it's white of it's pretty kick butt in the summer tons of people lots to do shell shock well that's where I'm headed always get lost in Edmonton for some reason. Anyway, that's where I'm going. Not sure why everybody's using this one, but I'm gonna use it. Need to get in there, I guess. But anyway, yeah, the last time I was here last week, I went to see a lung specialist. It turns out that I have 49% lung capacity left. How awesome is that? Is that Bill Murray on that truck? Awesome. Is it? It is. It's gotta be. Well, there's the parking rates there. Not exactly cheap. Oh, 1425 maximum. Didn't notice that. I thought it was like 20 bucks last time I was here. Bonus. <laughs> Not really. Oh, I'm nervous. I don't like doctors, man. I put clean underwear on just in case. Not to find a spot. I pretty much parked on the top floor last time I was here. Oh, it's slippery in here. Whoa! As if. From the exhaust, I guess, eh? Ride that clutch, bud. Here, my heat shield. Good old Ford got me here. She's a good old girl. Probably needs a tune-up and an oil change. 
and some air in the left front tire. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, she's a good old truck. Muffler is like non-existent. It's pretty quiet. Level two. Rage in the uh, car thing here. Road rage in the car part. Not really. Well, it looks like we're going to end up on the roof. That's fine, as long as I get there. It's like quarter after one. You gotta be there for 1.30. Sorry, buddy. I don't have time right now. I'm really, really sorry. Really sorry. You gotta go. I gotta go. There we go. Oh, you're gonna take that spot, yeah? Okay. Go ahead. I'm sure there's another spot. <laughs> oh, you're gonna fancy fancy it, eh? No? Car behind me, so I'm not fancy fancying it. We got park over here. Easy. There we go. Well, that wasn't so bad, I guess. Uh, they didn't probe and prod me too, too badly. I do have to go for more tests. Uh, liver tests, heart tests, stomach tests. Uh, right now I gotta go to blood work. Uh, that I can do closer to home, so yeah, fun stuff. Well, I just got a phone call from the doctor. <laughs> it's uh, actually good news. Uh, I don't have to go for a liver test. Uh, they kind of, well, I went for a liver test in the summer and I went for like an ultrasound just now to check my liver. They were gonna send me for further tests for my liver, but uh, yeah, they checked it over and all good to go. Well, as far as my lungs go, well, I'm working off 49% for the rest of my life. They're not gonna get better, they could get worse. So, like I recently quit uh, smoking marijuana and last time I went to the, uh, well last week, to the uh, lung specialist, I was all proud, like, hey, I quit smoking, I'm only vaping my weed now. And she's like, no, not even that. So, luckily I know how to make medicinals, so I've been making my medicinal. Good old Edmonton. Kind of miss it. I kind of don't. Nice place to visit. It was a nice place to live here too. Entertainment, oh max. Like you just leave your house and a party on the street, pretty much everywhere. Well, in my neighborhood. Saskatchewan River. Good memories. That's nice trails back here. Well, except for the people living on the trails. They have like homeless shelters, I guess. There's tents and stuff. Kind of sad. Thank you guys for a little tour. A little flashback for me. It's the old neighborhood. Where's that house where it's staying at? Know, man. Take a little trip down memory lane here. That's the first place we lived at when we moved to Edmonton. Good times.
the alleyway. Remember these old cars for my longtime viewers? There's the old garage. Party Central back then. And there's my old uh, stomping ground bar. Wings and sports bar. So we might as well check out my last place I lived in while I was in Edmonton here. <laughs> Well, there's a house we were looking at buying, this little corner lot there. They wanted 300000 for it. 300000 Craziness. I'm glad we moved to uh, Thorsby, for sure. And there is the other place, the last place we lived in. Right by the Coliseum. Coliseum's just run down this road here. I should go visit my neighbors, but it's okay. Next time. Met some good people. Met some bad people. <laughs> no avoiding that, I guess. Huh? Check out the alleyway. Alleyway. This is the Coliseum. Seen a few good concerts there. Well, I can tell you one thing I don't miss. Yeah, five o'clock traffic. There's the river, North Saskatchewan. stick around so I'm not stranded in Edmonton that's kind of good um, I'm off to the Duke I got some blood work to do and uh, my buddy Chris he invited me over for supper so we'll see it's, it's getting late what time is it it's six o'clock it's an hour away so we'll be the Duke by seven this friggin thing just threw a big rock in my window So this got on his head a while ago and he's been walking around with it ever since. You don't care. <laughs> Gotta love him. Good. Where'd you get that from anyway? <laughs> You're a funny puppy. Well, it's official. I'm going to clutch. Yeah, man. This is gonna kick butt. All right on people, thanks a lot for watching. I really do appreciate it. Big, big cheers. And we'll talk to you guys later. We'll try to get the shot. Even did. He pissed the quarter. Gotta keep the GoPro going full blast, I guess.